Hello, N4H and H here. Uh, this is another, another uh, video, in just operating practices, utilizing features in these modern radios. Um, so I'm listening to a rag chew here on 40 meters. Okay, you see this guy, he's a S7. Now I'm gonna let you listen to him another way. Okay, that's what he sounds like without any DSP help. Now, let me show you what I'm doing. And again, even though this is an FTDX 5000 from Yesu, uh, you could do the similar, a similar uh, thing with other radios. So what I'm doing is uh, digital noise reduction. Okay. You hear that high pitch heterodyne? It's at 2300 hertz, so I knocked it out with my manual notch filter. It wasn't intense enough. Let me show you. It's not intense enough for the automatic notch filter to... Uh, I might have said noise blanker, but it's not intense enough for the automatic notch to lock onto. It got some of it, but manual notch at 2300 hertz knocked it out. Now, again, um, let me engage digital noise reduction and contour. Now, some radios will not have contour, and they may not have digital noise reduction. It depends on your model. Um, and uh, the contour is um, unique to, I believe, Yesu, and I believe Flex has it. Maybe Elecraft. Don't hold me to that, but it's not on every radio available. And then I'm just um, tapping the width button here to control the width of my IF circuit. So that's what's cleaning his signal up. Now let me undo all that again. There's the tone back. Turned off manual notch. Turned off contour. Oh, yeah. Putting it back to a, a 2.4, which is just the default filter width, unless you press this button and, and make it wider. And uh, I'm going to wait till the weaker station comes back and we'll continue this, but uh, while I wait. So, um, again, sideband. There's just no need to listen to all the grind in the background when you have. Uh, features like this that you can uh, utilize. Now, in the previous video, I showed how to minimize some of this noise with uh, IPO. What I'm doing right in, in attenuation, what I'm doing right now, I'm not even going there. This is strictly handling it with the uh, digital signal processor, the D DSP. So when the other guy comes back in, I'm going to get back in here with some uh, DSP uh, action turn more of this off there he is okay back to 2.4 her uh, kilohertz filter width and no digital noise reduction and then no auto notch so let me re-enable the auto notch you see it it knocks it down some but if it's a weak heterodyne, then auto notch may not have quite enough to lock onto. So I went to manual notch to take care of the rest. Now, sometimes you can use both of these in case you've got one tone that you're knocking out with auto notch and then another one's in there that's maybe a little bit nastier and has other frequency components in it. Well, that's where your manual notch comes in. You can see the manual notch curve right there. And manual notch is a little bit wider than the auto notch and you can go into the menu and control that width but I, I have it set narrow okay now let's let's engage I, I, in fact before I do di uh, digital noise reduction I'm just gonna go to contour look at the contour you see that little bubble a little dip all we're doing there is free is is um, sweeping through the frequency range of the audio spectrum, which is 
in, in, in general terms, between 300 hertz and 3,000 hertz for our voice communications on amateur radio. So what I'm doing with that is it's, it's scooping a range of frequencies, and you can control the width in the menu with this radio. And again, your radio may, if you have a contour function, you'll have a menu function to do that as well. Uh, on this radio, it's my menu number 114. I've got the width currently set. Uh, pan over there a little bit. The other display shows that the width is on 9. It'll go up to 11. And that's just determining what we call the Q, how wide is that filter, how wide of a region of frequency uh, frequency range is it going to cut. The default's 10, but, you know, sometimes I vary it according to the situation. I found 9 to be good in this situation, and then also the default is to uh, cut by negative 15. So, in other words, 15 dB cut or negative 15. And um, I generally... I generally go somewhere between negative 15 and negative 12. See? And again, just situation uh, dependent. So there you can see the contour is, is it's like a wider version of the notch filter. And what I do is I will sweep through there until I hear the most of their voice and the least amount of noise. Somewhere in the 1700 to 2300 range often is the sweet spot for that. So now, digital noise reduction. And it's set on nine. It's uh, there are fifteen algorithms to choose from, and I usually run this radio on algorithms three, four, five. Um, but sometimes it, it it is different algorithms. But in a sense, it sounds like the higher you turn it, the more effective it is, and and, and that's that's somewhat true. Uh, but it's different algorithms. I find nine is a sweet spot when you're dealing with a pretty heavy. Uh, noise level but see what it's five hearing a little bit of the grind in the background you see nine I mean it's just about well, the noise is gone in between his syllables in between his words so more effective tools on the DSP area of, uh, in this case, a Yaesu FTDX 5000. Other Yaesu rigs definitely have these features. And, it, you know, some other brand radios have features that are similar to this. Now I'm going to go over here to the, um, we're going to look at the what I call the receiver chain, this area along in here. And I will go ahead and... Uh, His signals come up in strength some too, but I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to apply attenuation, 6 dB. And I'm going to turn off the RF amplifier, which for a Yaesu radio means turn on, I intercept point optimization. So I went to my first um, intercept point optimization. This rig has two levels of it. Some radios only have one. All it really is doing is you're not... Uh, amplifying the signal that's coming in off the antenna. You're lowering the sensitivity of the receiver. But what it does is, and the reason they call it intercept point optimization, the intercept point of the radio, meaning the referring to the first IF, first intermediate frequency, coming after the signal's coming in off the antenna. And so the first IF stage, by what we mean by optimizing that is really we're just improving the signal to noise ratio when we've got a noisy band we don't need to amplify any more of the noise so i can still hear the guy now i'm going to undo all this so you can see what a stark difference it makes no attenuation now I'm turning the RF amplifier back on. I'm not letting y'all see this. I want you to go by your ear. 
Now, no, no auto notch, no manual notch, no contour, and no digital noise reduction. You know, and again, a lot of these features are available on other radios out there on the market today, so don't think that this is only available on this radio. It's definitely available on other Yesus. Um, I mean, the, the FTDX 3000, the FTDX 10, of course, the FTDX 101, uh, the FT 991A, the FT 891, all just about everything in Yesus' arsenal is going to be similarly equipped uh, for what I just showed you. And then in other brands, well, well, like Kenwood may not call it IPO, but in Kenwood speak, it would be turn the preamp off. So no preamp one, no preamp two, things like that. And ICOM is similar to that um, as far as the IPO is concerned. The 7300 has what's called IP plus, and that's just a, a it's a little bit similar, but it uh, it's something you have to do a little bit different when you're dealing with a software defined radio. Uh, but it is somewhat akin to the intercept point optimization. So, all right, well, let me leave you on a positive note. Um, digital noise reduction, contour, auto notch, manual notch, attenuation, IPO. Now, let me pan over so you can see the S meter. So if you've, if you've uh, been a subscriber to my channel for quite some time, maybe you've, you've heard me on many, many occasions say, ignore the S meter, improve the signal to noise ratio. The S meter is just a relative reading and many of them are not exactly accurate anyway. You know, the original idea was that they were supposed to be six dB per uh, S unit, 6 dB being the uh, point at which your ear could detect a change in um, in strength, in level. Uh, but I, almost no S meter out there is going to exactly adhere to that. And I shot a whole video about the S meters uh, a couple of months ago. So you want to look back and, uh, and, re and see that video. Uh, I think it's like two months old. So there you go. Uh, cleaning up the signal using the uh, digital signal processing. These modern radios are just fantastic when it comes to digital signal processing. And like I've said before, when you when you take a good super heterodyne receiver and merge that with a uh, digital signal processor, it's a it's just a winning combination. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, hey, thank you Patreons for helping me keep this channel going. If anyone else would like to become a Patreon and support the channel, uh, go to www. P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified when I uh, release a new video. And, uh, of course, that also helps our uh, standings with YouTube. Thanks a lot. 73 from N4HNH.